Hi everybody, today we are here at Mayfield Dairy. This is where all that, the great ice, this is where it's made. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. to come here for a long time we are here in Athens Tennessee about 75 miles from Pigeon Forge over near Chattanooga and we're here at our favorite ice cream now if you grew up in East Tennessee or you visit East Tennessee you have seen the Mayfield logo uh, they actually have ice cream stores all over of course there's like one in Gatlinburg a couple in Gatlinburg I think and uh, and it's ice cream is great we go to a grocery store we get our ice cream uh, so they're not giving tours right now, but um, hopefully we'll be back at another time when they're giving tours, but because of COVID, they're still not doing that. But we're gonna take a look around. Follow the yellow brick road. F Dawn, there's there's a, a cow. I know, but you have to follow it. Yeah, he, he's- Get some ice cream. Yeah, let's follow the yellow brick road. And Holy moly, it's a huge cow. He must be 20 foot tall. Look at that guy. <laughs> well, you know you're here at the Mayfield Deary when you see one of these guys. I can't even recall how many parades I have seen these cows. They have a whole fleet of these cows actually. And they go through parades and an opening of grocery stores and you seen her in the parades? Yeah. yeah. I've been to a lot of factories in my time. And this one here is just crazy busy. There is so much traffic. There's semis coming in and out. There's the melts coming in. And then it's going out as ice cream. And it's just loud and a lot going on here. What would Adam say? It's a beehive of activity. That's what he would say too. This is crazy. They have these really cool murals. The old ice cream truck. Must be the old farm that used to sit here. Maybe it still sits here. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to drive around and see if maybe we can find that, right? Oh, it's a little honey bear. They, they, they had honey bears back in the day. You see that? They had a honey bear. Must be Miss Mayfield there, <laughs> tending to her garden. Oh, well, there's a there's a kitty. Looks like he's scratching the post. <laughs> and this here must have been the the milking parlor, or the milk house. Technically, the milk house is usually in the back, but and that would be the where they milk them. Yeah. More murals here. An old mountain home there. Old Tennessee home. Looks like it's got some jerseys over there. unloading milk as we speak. Farmer owned and community loved. And you can hear all like the hissing from like all the, the pumping from, what do you think they're making? Are they making ice, ice cream, ice and, cream milk? and milk? Yeah. yeah. Here's their hours. Thursday from 10 a.m. to 5, Friday from 10 a.m. to 5, and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2, but they're giving no tours at this time. But here is the Mayfield Dairy Visitor Center. Hey Dawn, there's a there's a cow over here. You see him? Hello, hello Mr. Cow. Are you are you one of the cows that make the the great ice cream and the milk? Yeah. 
<laughs> Dawn, there's there's a bronze cow. Where else can you see a bronze a bronze cow? At Mayfield. At Mayfield. <laughs> oh wow. Good morning. Good morning. There's like a, a chalk room, Don. You see that? I scream, you scream, we all scream for, for ice cream. You scream for ice cream? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is the place to get ice cream for sure. <laughs> Guys, we are here where it's made. Isn't that something? That is awesome. Just on the other side of these walls is where it's made. And they actually have a an ice cream bar here. You can actually get your favorite. Ooh, they got the extreme moose track. That's one of my favorite. Do you see a favorite on here, Don? Um. Super cow. Mm, you gotta love the super cow. It's kind of like Superman, but here it's all about the cow, right? Yep. <laughs> I think we're gonna get some ice cream, right? Are we? Yeah. <laughs> World's best ice cream. Look at that. That's the logo we see all over. They got some really cool merch here. Mayfield Dairy. It's like the, the caps they used to, it's like the seal they used to put on the, you know, the glass milk jugs. That's really cool. Got some little buttons. They got a, what's this guy? Oh, he's a cow. He's a cow keychain. Donnie, see him? Oh, he's cute. Yeah. Then they have a recipe book. For a dollar seventy-five, they got those spoons that change colors. You see that? <laughs> seventy-five cents for a spoon, a coin purse. A coin purse. So they got the Mayfield overload of just merch. I'm probably gonna pick up some of this merch. There's a there's a patch. I wish I got into collecting patches a long long time ago. I would have had quite the collection. Yeah. Oh, they got these buttons for. I think I think Jacob needs one of these for his hat, right? <laughs> What's this? Got ice cream, cream cups and spoons. Oh, that is cool. Oh wow. It's cute. They got like little cups you can put your ice cream in, and uh, look at that spoon. Oh, it's a, it's a it's a scooping spoon. You can scoop out of the. The carton. I think we need a little more cowbell. <laughs> Here's um, glass. Yeah, it's like the original. Look at the little cows, Don. They're cute. Look at this guy. He's like, moo, 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 moo. <laughs> yeah, that that's really cool. Peaches. So they definitely got the overload of. Here's their family history. You, you like those cowbells, don't you? Yeah. Here's some of their magnets they got. These are pretty pretty cool coffee mugs here. They even got Christmas Christmas ornaments. <laughs> Look at the cow on on skis. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, cool oven mitts. And this is actually pretty. This is actually pretty cool here. It's a it's a tile. You can put on your oven or something. It's only seven dollars. Believe it or not, that's not. It's not too bad for for seven dollars. So here's their different shirts. World's best, Farm Nation. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy cows. And the cows make milk. And milk makes ice cream. About cows. Cows produce nine gallons of milk each day, or 90 glasses. Cows drink 30 to 50 gallons of water each day. Cows are milked twice a day, and cows eat 100 pounds of food every day. Grass, hay, corn, and silage. If you ate like a cow, you would have to eat 360 cheeseburgers and drink 600 cartons of milk each day. Here's an old photo of them loading the old milk trucks. Look at those old milk trucks. And here's the cartons of milk going around the assembly line. Uh, pretty cool. This must be where Mayfield sells their, their dairy products in these states here. Milky the cow? Milky the cow, yeah. You can like actually. full life size version. Yeah, you can actually get down in here and. Ice cold milk. 
Now, the one thing that got me when I first moved here to Tennessee was the milk comes in yellow containers. I have never seen that. I'm usually in, in the clear containers. Well, they put it in yellow containers so that the sun doesn't damage the milk. And it's hot here in the south, and that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the reason why the containers are yellow. And if they were giving tours, you would go down this little corridor here. I can actually hear the machinery moving, but they're not giving tours due to the, the Mr. McNasty's. I would have, I would have loved to took a tour, wouldn't you have? I would too. And this is what we see in our our supermarket: these bright yellow uh, containers here. Of course, they got all of the good flavors: vanilla, black walnut. Uh, they also have chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, yeah, homemade vanilla. And then the Rocky. Who doesn't like Rocky Road? You like I Rocky like Road. Rocky Road. <laughs> <laughs> if you live here in East Tennessee, you definitely have a Mayfield bucket laying around your house somewhere. There's those famous yellow milk containers. Keeps the, the flavor in. And here's one thing I have a weakness for, and that's the French onion dip. <laughs> do, you ha do you have a weakness for that? I like the dip from cottage cheese. <laughs> oh wow, this one's really cool. You see them like putting the ice cream oh, wow. down into the tub. It's neat. Uh, it says ice cream carton filler select two piece and then here's oh they're making creamsicles Don. <laughs> yeah. everybody likes creamsicles and there she's packing the creamsicles so. yeah she's she's actually packing them looks like she's having a good time i would have a good time too if i was packing creamsicles i'd get fired because i'd probably eat one <laughs> <laughs> you probably would wouldn't you and then that's how i make the ice cream sandwiches you see that that is that's cool they make more than just milk. They got some jungle, jungle juice. Am I reading that right? Mayfield made jungle juice, Don? <laughs> yeah, it's jungle juice. And how many kids had orange flavored drink in their, in their lunch at school, you know? Of course they have eggnog and yeah, this is definitely what you would drink when you're in school. Why is our jug yellow? Our unique yellow jug keeps light that can damage flavor, freshness, and nutrients so our great taste lasts longer. Research has shown light can damage the flavor of freshness of milk. It also destroys a significant amount of vitamins A and B that's found in milk. And here's a little model of the plant that's located right here. You can see like all the little storage tanks for the milk and just the different processes. When you're here at Mayfield, you gotta get the ice cream, right? Pricing includes tax. The prices are actually really good. You get an eight ounce double for $3.50. They also have milkshakes for four and they have sundaes for $3.50. There's nothing better than ice cream from where it's made. And this is where, Dawn, we got ice cream. Ice cream. Look at that for $3.50. That is like the biggest, what did you get? I got um, blueberry pie with sugar cookie pieces and cream cheese but, and I got fudge. So you got two different flavors, mm -hmm. right? And I got the extreme moose tracks. Of course you gotta get the extreme moose tracks, right? Mm -hmm. Mayfield does have very good ice cream and it's just great to be sitting where it's made. Dawn, are you riding a cow and eating ice cream at the same time? Up. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate in that ice cream.
there's a there's a cow behind the fence. I think that cow did something bad, Dawn. I know. I think he I think he might be he's in, in timeout. It was a nice day for Mayfield ice cream. I learned a lot about Mayfield. Now I wish that the factory tour was open. They do have a factory tour here. Uh, as soon as they open it, we'll come back and actually do a factory tour. Guys, that's going to do it for today here in Athens, Tennessee. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. We love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.